Yes, welcome back to another Star Made Logic Showcase. My name is Bench, and today we're showing off this little beauty here. This is the elevator floor module, which enables you to be able to do multiple floors. As we see here, we've added them all in, and we're able to go forward and choose a floor that we want to go to. We can pick any floor. It's nice. It's uh, all secure inside, and when we pick our floor, and you'll see we fly towards that floor at lightning speed, or at least the speed of gravity. Uh, and we can walk forward, no buttons necessarily for that, and you can see we've arrived. Uh, from there we can go up, we can go down, we can go whichever way we want to. Um, there's preventions in there to prevent other people from uh, interacting and messing around while you're in there. And it is a beaut, it's not restricted to any particular amount of floors, you can build as many floors as you want, it works on ships, it works on stations, it is a wonderful thing. So let's grab this module and check out how you can actually go and implement this thing into building this elevator. So we've got our elevator shaft here without the modules on it and we're just going to take a look at what we need to add prior to adding in our modules. So we'll fly over here you can see we've got green and red lights. Uh, these are indicating whether it's vacant or it's in use. Uh, if it is vacant the door is usually open. Um, We've also got these blue lights at the top, which will be used to show whether or not whoever's in there is heading to that particular floor. So, you know, don't stand right near the doors sort of thing. We also have uh, our area trigger areas set in here. So you can see there's the one on the top and the one on the bottom. Now you can add this when you add your modules in, when you have the actual controller selected, or you can just go with it like so and have them done prior. Uh, within our actual... Uh, floor stop for each of our things uh, floors we've got all the buttons to go to all the different floors so we've got five in this example and then we've got plex door on the bottom uh, in line as a floor and on the top we also have it where it's in line with this area trigger as well now you don't need this much space but you do need enough blocks for you to walk into with an area trigger and uh, you do need to be able to walk onto it like so. Um, and our setup that we have for here is that you can see that's, uh, that's the tunnel there. And we avoid this particular area where all the triggers are if you're falling. So then you just interact with it when you arrive, which is part of the way it works. Now these activation modules also, if we go around the side, you can see there's gravity modules hooked hooked up to some of them and we also have this uh, reset for the pulse so what it is is it's an activation module going into an AND and a delay then the delay goes into a NOT and then that NOT goes into the AND finally the AND goes back into the activation module so we can have it like a small little pulse and then it turns itself off and so we don't need big massive circuits to try and do our monostables. We can do it like that. Now on the floors or on the buttons that are going to be sending you up. Um, so in this case we're on the, the lowest floor indicated here. So all these other floors are going to be sending us up. You want to select your activation module and then place a gravity module but with the orientation so that the bottom is facing up. So the arrows are pointing up. So you'll travel that way. So gravity is upside down, so it shoots you up, up and away into the uh, the other floors. Now if we come up here, you can see this is the button to go to level 1. And there's no gravity module on that, because we're going down, and we'll just have normal gravity set to us. Um, so that's all the setup that we need, which is just the, uh, the plex door, the room, the buttons set up with this little pulse circuit it needs the pulse circuit to work um, but obviously we can't include that in the module because we don't know how many um, stops you'll want how many floors uh, it's very modular in that sense um, but you do need to have at least a little bit of understanding of logic just to do this one little circuit and you'll be gravy so now that we've got all them set up we can look at adding in our um, our modules. So we'll go to load and we're going to load the elevator floor module and then we're going to paste and uh, we'll paste it behind here. 
Uh, we'll paste it just off to the side so we can see what we're doing. So we got one, two, and we paste one for each module. Oh, sorry, one for each floor. Like so, and like so. So one, two, three, four, five. All done. Now we can stop pasting there. And we'll fly down, and I've got the version over here which has all the labels on it so that we can refer to, so we can see what is what, what is what, and what is what. So first things first, we'll go over to this side, and we can see is connect to top plex door, connect to floor plex door, and then lift in use and vacant. And they have the labels there, so you can see this is what you use to connect to your lift door and your lights. Uh, lift door being the actual door to get into the lift. Well, these top and floor plex doors are the top and bottom for the roof and the um, floor. So what we'll do is, this is the roof one, as we just saw there. So we'll fly in, find the roof one, and holding shift, hit V, and we're able to select that. Selecting the other one, we can do that there. And then this is the in-use, as we saw over here. It says lift in-use, connect to the lift door, and the in-use light which for us is this red light over here, so we can select all of those there. And then we'll fly over and grab the bottom one, which we can see is vacant, connect to vacant light, which in this case is the green lights. I'm just going to open that door as well for the time being. The other thing we have here is this floor has been selected, indicator output. So we're going to grab that and connect it to the blue lights, which I'm also going to hit R on to turn them off for now because they're not currently active. So what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll go forward and we'll do this for all the others. Okay, so now they're all done. What we next need to do is connect the modules together. So to do that, if we look on the top here, it says uh, nothing, because I forgot to write it in. But it says on the bottom, down or out, connect to the down or on top of the next floor below, and up or in, connect to the or from up or on the top of the next floor below. Which uh, doesn't make sense, does it? But basically, we take one and we connect it upwards, and we take one and connect it downwards. So we want to take the out, and we want to connect it into the ins, and we want to take the ins, um, or the out on the other one, connect it into the ins. So typically, facing the T, the left goes up. Um, so that's the easy way to remember it, and they always line up like so. So we end up with some nice straight lines. So we're going to hit C and V and just connect those modules together like so. And that way we'll get some signals flying through. Now Now that we're at the top, we can go the other way, grab the other one and go down. Uh, we don't need to do anything with the top, we just leave it how it is um, and just grab the one underneath. So if they don't join up, we don't do that with these ones. Um, we just grab them and do like so. So they're all joined up now. Now what we need to do is on the back face we take the ore on this side. You can see here it says connect the left ore gate to the same one a floor above and connect the right ore gate to the same one a floor below. And then on the top floor we'll connect the left to the right together. Um, so what that looks like practically is we grab this ore and then we're going to go up, hit V, we then hit C on the same one, go up, hit V, C, V, C, V, C. And now this one we bridge across to the other side. And then this one we grab, we hit C, go down to the one on the right, V and C again. So we're just daisy chaining them together. Oop. Let's, uh, let's make sure we actually the buttons right on them and that's done now area trigger wise if we look on the side it says this one is the door sensor connect to the area between the door and the lift tube and then the other one is the reset gravity which is the one above the door 
So we grab this one and we connect it to the bottom one, which is that one there. And then we grab the other one and connect it to the top one that's above it. And we'll do that for each of them, like so. So like that. And then like that. Like that. And then like that. And as mentioning before, you could easily um, do your area triggers while you've placed this, and rather than just selecting them. Though hitting Shift V on them is a bit quicker, in my opinion. Now. They're set up, that side's done, that side's done, those are done, that side's done, and that side's done. So the last thing here is these two here, and if we fly down to our other one here that we're using as a reference, we can see what those two do. So connect pulse button to select this floor from above. So the top one we use if we're selecting to go to this floor from floors above. So if I'm on level 3 and I want to go down to level 2, level 3 is above level 2, so the button on level 3 to go to level 2 connects to this one. And this one's from the lower floors. So we'll start here and we'll see that all these are above level 1. So we can grab these and I'm going to grab the end and we'll go this is level 2, so it's 2, 3, 4, 5. And we can go from there and go, right, number two. And I am going from below, like so. Because you can see it says I'm selecting this floor from the lower floors. So for floors below. Um, and we can do that with all of them. So three, like so. Four, we'll fly up there to do. And this is where it kind of can get a little bit messy with the pipes. Um, but because there's, uh, you can have as many floors and as many modules as you want added, um, this is just one way that you're going to have to deal with it, basically. Because <laughs> uh, there's not really any other way of doing it um, and still having those options open. So when we're doing the lower or going from above, you can see where we're inputting it into the top one. And I'm just grabbing the AND gates to do this. I'm not grabbing necessarily the activation modules at all um, to do this, but that's fine. I mean, both pulse the exact same way at the exact same time, so it doesn't really matter um, which way you go with that. So we'll just do the final one now from the top floor, and this one will join to the um, the top connections of each because it's the top floor. Um, and I did build this fairly quickly with a um, just using a couple of templates, and so you'll see I still have the plex door on the top, but because of the way things are set up, it shouldn't open up at all. Um, which is good. Actually, I think I've uh, I've joined that one there as well. Yeah. Oops. You should be joining to that one. So we'll just make sure I join this one up properly as well. Yeah. 
here. I think this should be that one there. Yep, and then this bottom one is good there. Sweet. Now, now that that's all set up, we've set everything up that we need to. Um, one thing that you'll notice is noted here is once it's all set up on the bottom floor, toggle this on and off again. So this one here, and we should see the blue light light up. And if we rotate around, you'll see that everything's green. All the other lights are off, all the doors are open, uh, that need to be open, and we should be all set up now, so we can give that a try. So we'll jump out, we'll jump into some gravity, and we'll walk in and give it a go. So we'll go to floor two, which drops us there, and we walk forward, and we can walk out. Now we're on floor two. Walk forward again, say we're going to try out number four, or floor four. We'll fall up, and we're there. Floor four. Now if we want to go the other way, say go down to the bottom floor, we can do that as well. Fall all the way there, walk forward, door opens, and it works all fine. Now if we jump into the core, we can also watch that if we say we want to go to say number three, we'll push the button, you see visually for people waiting, it goes red and the door closes, and we can also see up here that um, that is the floor that we're heading to. Now, if you do get a state like this where, say, someone despawns and is kind of stuck in limbo, like, um, and uh, these doors do open um, if you've got them hooked up, but you'll be falling in the opposite direction. So you can block them off or you can leave them open if you want. It doesn't really matter. It's not going to affect performance. Um, but if you do find that it's blocked off, no one's actually in there anymore, um, and you want to do a reset, there's a reset button on the top of that module, and you just need to reset there, and everything goes back to green, and we're totally fine. So we've got that ability there, and I am in the opposite gravity somehow. Doesn't really matter, we'll fly down here, and give it a go. Like so. So again, gravity works good, we can fall, we can move, get dropped off, and it's pretty well responsive for wherever you're going. We can go from the bottom all the way to the top. And there we go. So that's the, uh, the gravity elevator. Hope you've enjoyed this. You can download this from the community content section on the StarMade website. Until next time, my name is Bench and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching another StarMade video. We release videos every second day, so don't forget to subscribe.